Hi, I'm Charlie Chapman, a developer advocate here at RevenueGap. And today I want to show you how you can easily create a timeline style design in your paywall like this using our new timeline component in RevenueCap paywalls. Let's look at how it works. Okay, so I'm on the template selector screen here, and you can see we have this new template that uh, actually has this design in there. So let's click on that so we can see how it's built. So in this uh, template, this right here is the timeline element that we're wanting to build. And uh, you can see if we click on this, this is actually its own whole component. Um, and this is using our new timeline component completely to build it. So let's minimize all of these just to make things a little simpler to look at. And then uh, let's go ahead and just add a new component and we'll build one of these from scratch so you can see kind of how you'd build it yourself. So if you click on this new timeline component, it'll add one at the bottom and you can see this is kind of the default look. Um, and just by comparing those two, you can see how customizable this is. So. A timeline is made up of these elements. So at the top level, you have your time level, timeline component. And inside of there, you have multiple timeline items. And uh, you can add or remove as many of these as you want. So you can see I added a fourth one, and then I can delete that there. Uh, so you can have multiple timelines or multiple items inside of your timeline. And then inside of a timeline item, you have an icon, a title, and a description. Um, and the title and description are text elements. So you can do all the things that you're used to being able to do with uh, the text components in paywalls. And then the icon is an icon element. Again, you can do all the same things you're used to with an icon element. Um, so if you wanted to make it look more similar to this, you can see it looks quite a bit different. So the first thing you're going to want to do is thicken up this line. And uh, the, the line is actually associated with each item. So you can control this line separate from this line, separate from this line. So if we go into item number one, you can see that we have uh, a width and then a margin and a color. So the width is going to control that thickness. So if we said something like 32, that's the same width as our button here. Um, that's going to make it as thick as the actual round button there. And we can go through and do that to each one and that will thicken that lineup so it looks the same. Um, the other thing you'll notice is at the bottom here it sort of fades out and so if we go to that third item uh, this color is determined by the color of each item and uh, like most of our color options you can actually make this a gradient so if I click gradient and then I change the uh, rotation to zero degrees um, and let's get rid of this middle one. Cool. So you can see the bottom is now this dark color and the top is this light color. I can make the bottom transparent. Oops. And now you see it fades out really nicely like that. And you can also see here that the color sort of shifts as it goes down. Um, I believe here those are solid colors. So let's just see what that looks like. Um, so if I set this to, you know, like uh, that same blue, I guess, that everything else is. And then I set this one to a sort of greenish color. Yeah, so you can see we're kind of doing that shift thing there and then, whoops, and then make this one uh, maybe more, even more green. Uh, it doesn't really look good, but you get the idea. So you can create shifts here and you could have these, uh, this be a gradient so it goes from one to the next as well. Um, you'll also notice that these have borders on them and that's done at the icon level here. So I could give this icon a uh, border and I can make it, you know, that same kind of bluish color. This isn't going to look super great, but you get the idea here. Yeah, there you go. So that has a border on it. Um, and you can change the color of the icon itself. You can make the icon, you know, dark blue and make the circle itself uh, light blue or white or something like that. Um, so there's quite a bit of customization you can do just on the line itself. And then for the text, um, these are text, uh, these are text components, just like anything else. So I could make this bold and maybe make the font size uh, 16. So it's a little bit bigger. And now you can already see it's starting to look more similar to this. So if I wanted to put the same text in here, I could do that. And then this one is, you know, now 
and work your way down the line. Uh, an important thing to note here, if you're trying to make a paywall where you're using this timeline to explain your um, how your free trial works, this is a really common uh, technique that I think Blinkist is uh, sort of the popular, they popularize this style. Um, you want to make sure that you're setting all of these text fields based on whether or not that user is eligible for a free trial. You don't want this to give an indication that the user has a free trial if they don't. So for example, uh, this text, maybe what you want to do actually is say in the, in, in this text field for introductory offer on that text, you could put uh, start your free trial, but then in the regular text field, it's going to say get full access to all features because that the user in this situation doesn't have access to the free trial, if that makes sense. If you want to change your preview to show what it's going to look like when you do have a free trial, you can go up to preview settings and check introductory offer content. And you'll notice our template also already does this. So it will say... Um, Day five will remind you that your trial is ending. Day seven, you'll be charged on December 31st. This one's kind of interesting because if you click on it, you'll see we're actually using a variable to figure out the exact date that your trial is going to end. So that's kind of a handy thing to do as well. Um, if you don't want to show this uh, version of your paywall whenever a user is not eligible for a free trial, you could use RevenueCat's targeting feature. Uh, with placements to do the logic inside of your app um, to determine whether or not the user is eligible for a trial and then choose which offering you want to show that user and only show them the offering that has this paywall if they're eligible for a free trial. So if you wanted to show different trials based on that, you can do that um, inside of your code that way. So there you go. That's the new timeline component. Uh, this is a really popular style of paywall, and I hope that this shows how easy that's going to be to make now in RevenueCat paywalls. For everything RevenueCat paywalls and everything else RevenueCat, you can go to RevenueCat.com.